Let's take a look at the definition and prevalence of loneliness. Loneliness is dissatisfaction with a discrepancy that one sees between their desired and actual social relationships. So in other words, they want to have an intimate partner, but don't. They want to have friends or more friends or different friends, but they don't. So some between what they have and what they desire, there's a discrepancy and it causes dissatisfaction for them. Loneliness, as you can hear from that description, is subjective. In other words, people can be socially isolated, alone, but not lonely. They can be happy to be alone or prefer minimal contact. Other people could have ostensibly rich social lives. All everyone's are, they have a million Facebook friends, but feel lonely. There's a difference between feeling lonely and the number of friends and family members you're in contact with. Loneliness is a subjective experience. You can't see, you can't look at someone's social networks and say they're lonely. You have to ask them. Whereas social isolation is different. You can look at the number of people they contact in a regular, on a regular basis and determine how socially connected they are. Both are important for health, but today we're focused on the subjective component, loneliness. To assess your own degree of loneliness, you can take this UCLA revised loneliness scale. It's just three questions. Consider how often you feel the way described in each of the following statements. One, how often do you feel that you lack companionship? Hardly ever, some of the time, or often. How often do you feel left out? Hardly, some of the time, often. How often do you feel isolated from others? hardly ever, some of the time, often. For each response, you're gonna be giving yourself a score of one to three, depending on how you answer the question. The total score is your loneliness score. And if you score a three to five, you're considered not lonely. But a six to a nine, you would be considered lonely. Loneliness is actually quite common. The prevalence of loneliness is 45% among U.S. adults. It tends to have a bimodal distribution where it's highest in the teenage years and high in, in the elderly population and declines after adolescence into, mid, into, the, into the midlife and then increases again as you get older. So I've described a definition here of loneliness, a way of screening yourself for loneliness and determining if you're lonely, and just made a general statement that loneliness is quite common in the United States.